watch on the channel nine. We watch, watch, watch on the channel nine. All righty. Uh, all right, number nine. Let's start with some uh, celebrity couples you may not know about. First up is uh, Brad Pitt and Dandy Newton. They dated in 1994 after meeting on uh, Interview with the Vampire. Huh. Then there's uh, David Arquette and Drew Barrymore. No, I didn't know about that one. They were no. in the early 90s. Uh, Fiona Apple and David Blaine huh. were a thing. Uh, Jeff Goldblum and Laura Dern, they were an idol. Oh, I, didn't I didn't know, know that. that. Of course, Jurassic Park co-stars. Liv uh, Tyler and Joaquin Phoenix. They dated for a couple of years. Uh, Liam Neeson and Brooke Shields. Really? She was oh. taken with his love. Oh, there that's a good one. Uh, Rashida Jones and Colin Jost. Huh. Uh, Matthew Perry and Julia Roberts dated for a couple of months in the yeah, mid-90s. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, finally, Whoopi Goldberg, Ted Danson. They, they, they were famously together for about uh, 18 months. Were they married at one point or no? I don't no? think so. They were just dating. Yeah, okay. man. Hmm. All right, number eight. Is it Hermes? It's whatever you want it to be. Nobody or, watching this show is buying Hermes. <laughs> Paul not here. I always right. get these designers messed up. Uh, the Birkin bag. Everyone has seen this. It's uh, still the most coveted bag in the world. It's always been popular, but with the recent passing of actress and singer Jane Birkin, who inspired the bag, it is on top of the must-have list once again. Here is how the original Birkin bag came to be. It was made to fit Birkin's needs as a young mother of three. She was sitting on a flight with Hermes <clears> chairman <throat> Jean-Louis Dumas. Oh boy, why that are they doing this? Right. No, that doesn't sound that. right. Uh, she told him she wanted a bag with a wide flat bottom, a flap enclosure, and handles to carry all the baby stuff. She even drew a picture of it on an airplane barf bag of all things and handed it to him. Well, Dumas had the folks at Hermes produce the bag and named it after Jane Birkin, and the rest is handbag history. <laughs> So what did Birkin do with the royalties over the years? She donated the money to charity. Huh. Wow. Isn't that something? It's fascinating. Like, what makes a bag, like, hugely popular? Like, you look at it, and it just looks like a bag to me. I don't know. Nothing You're asking it, the wrong women I, over aren't here. Aren't there other I'm bags not, that look like that? Why yeah. made that bag, like, the bag? I, you're, I don't know. I can't imagine walking around with a $10,000 no. purse. Mm -hmm. I, I just, I can't. Anyway. We all know your I, the way tile royalty stuff. That's right. <laughs> yeah. She's like, only I'm 10? No to, way. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to, 30, 40 yeah. I'm yeah. Trying to I, appear like the rest of us. I like right. to jam those tile dollars in uh, the book. Right. And, yeah. That or samples. This one comes in like <laughs> uh, Number seven, do you like puzzles? No, not really. But if you do. Oh, I love puzzles. Here's oh. a uh, challenging new one, million piece oh, jigsaw puzzle. What? puzzle. What? I read that wrong. It's a million pieces. There you go. Uh, take a look at the contents, and this one looks harder than you might think. Here's a helpful tip. You start with the corner piece. Um, I don't get it. It looks wait, like pebbles. Are they sand? Or like? I don't understand. I don't know. Is it a joke? We've all been pumped. I think Ooh, it's a joke. puzzles. Oh, it's a joke. It's got to be a joke. Yeah. Right? I'm not a very good one. I'm not really paying <laughs> attention. Uh, it's seven bucks on Etsy. Yeah. Whatever like it is, it's seven dollars. Okay. We'll go to number six. Time for a game we like to call Who Is That? Take a look at this clip from The Wonder Years. Fred Savage. No, no. No, the young lady there in the plaid outfit by the is locker. Is that Alicia Silverstone? It sure is. Yeah. The year was 1992, and Silverstone played a classmate of Kevin's. Her name was Jessica Thomas. It's a fun clip on social media because of her outfit. Oh, yeah, it looks like Clueless. Right? Are you reading the script? Wow. You're no. not even looking at the script. I'm and just you're thinking saying ahead. Every next thing it does, it looks like. God, Cher I love Hall that show. So that was a great Wonder show. Wonder Years or Clueless? Oh, Wonder both. Years. Yeah. Both great. Yeah. Huh. Number okay. five, uh, natural disasters are everywhere, but there's some good news. You can buy a natural disaster proof <laughs> dome Jeez. home. Well, that what, is good news. All right. What it lacks in aesthetics, it makes up for in protection from extreme weather. They say these homes are better insulated from heat and cold, and they're made from steel and aluminum, which are more resilient in the face of storms and wildfires. Uh, this one sold for half a million dollars. The builders of these homes say sales have doubled this year. That one sold for half a million dollars? I guess. That looks like something my family might have tried to put together themselves. <laughs> <laughs> we got some shingles in the ground. Yeah, just go. fine. All right, number four. Um, ready to have your mind blown? Mm -hmm. Chocolate chip cookies are only 85 years old. Ruth Graves Wakefield invented the cookie in 1938. Wow. 
She ran the Toll House Inn over in Whitman, Massachusetts. She added chopped up bits of Nestle semi-sweet chocolate into a cookie and the rest is baked goods history. She eventually gave the recipe to Nestle and was paid with a lifetime supply mm. of chocolate. Well, that's all worth it. That was Man. a bad gig there. So that's that Toll House, famous Toll House recipe, I mm. guess. Mm. All right, number three, need a new iPhone charger? Oh. Uh, <laughs> grab this new umbilical cord phone charger. Oh, that is, that is so disturbing. Uh, that's so weird. It charges your phone and pulsates to emulate the magic of a real life umbilical cord. Oh. Uh, it's really it's, disturbing. It's freaky and it's really expensive. Is that real? Just 4,500 4, bucks for that? 4,500? 4, 4, that can't be right. Or is it 45, right. Savo, or is it 4,500? 4,500. Wow. 4,500. Huh. Look like a total weirdo. Yeah. Wow. All right, number two, uh, Doc Ellis was a Major League Baseball player, or pitcher from 1968 to 1979. On June 12, 1970, he threw a no-hitter. If that wasn't impressive enough, he later admitted that he was high on LSD during that game. Wow. That was pitched for the National League in the 1971 All-Star Game. His team went on to win the World Series that year. After he retired, Doc admitted that he was high on drugs for every single major league game that he pitched. Wow. He eventually went into treatment and spent the rest of his life counseling other people with substance abuse issues. So what do you know? It was, he did say it was an issue. Okay. But, wow. All right, number one, Tony Bennett has died. That just news just broke this morning, if you haven't heard. Uh, Bennett often said his lifelong ambition was to create a hit catalog rather than hit records, which he accomplished through more than 70 albums over his career. Well, here he is a few years ago, singing and sounding incredible. people that he can just stand there and sing and that's a show. Yeah. You know, so many shows they've got all these videos, everything else, no. lights. Like no, just a guy standing there singing and yeah, just and is captivating all, to watch. Oh, so good. Did all those uh duets later yeah. in his career and sadly he kept reinventing he had, himself. He had uh, Alzheimer's later on in life sadly. Of course Frank Sinatra called him the best singer in the business. Nineteen Grammys. He uh, all but two of them after his sixties. So uh sad loss this morning, Tony Bennett. That's a nine at nine. Nine, 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 nine.